Hello and welcome to the fifth screencast about the Unidata Integrated Data Viewer. The IDV team will guide you through this instructional video to assist you in better understanding the IDV. The objective of this screencast is to briefly learn about IDV bundle basics so that you can save, restore, and share your work in the IDV. To that end, we will load a bundle that comes pre-packaged with the IDV, modify it, save it, and restore it. To load that bundle, go to the Displays, Favorite Bundles, NAM211 menu item and bring up the Isentropic Potential Vorticity or IPV bundle. We will explain this open bundle dialog in a moment. For now, simply click OK to display the contents of the bundle. Bundles capture the displays you have shown and the data sources you have loaded. An important point to note is bundles generally do not contain data, but rather references to data. For example, this bundle references data that is on a unit data server, but there is no actual IPV data in the bundle. These so-called XIDV bundles stand in contrast to ZIDV bundles that do allow you to save data in a bundle. We will cover ZIDV bundles separately in the future. You can share these bundles with a colleague or upload them to Ramada to share with the community. The bundle we have in front of us gives us an idea of how sophisticated bundles can be. Note all the state that is captured with a cross section, vertical probe, and main map display. In the main display, we have an ISO surface of IPV, as well as a cross section of VWINS. You can see the cross section more clearly in the cross section display. We also have a time height data probe showing IPV in the vertical dimension as a function of time. Let's make a few changes to this bundle by changing the ISO surface value and moving the cross section and vertical probe. To change the ISO surface value, click on the IPV ISO surface legend in the display. This action will bring you to the dashboard where you can change the value of the isosurface. Change the isosurface value from 6.4 to 1.5. Note values of IPV less than 1.5 are generally associated with tropospheric air. Values of IPV greater than 1.5 are generally associated with stratospheric air. Now let's go back to the main display and move the cross-section and probe in the map. Let's also change a perspective. Let's save this bundle with these changes by going to the File, Save As menu item. Let's give our bundle a name. Note the IDV gives you many options concerning how views and displays are saved in a bundle. You can save just the data. You can save just the views and later associate the view with different data. For now, we will leave these options as they are. Note this is an XIDV bundle that saves references to the model data coming from the unit data server. At this point, let's click the Save button. Now quit and restart the IDV. Load the bundle by going to the File, Open menu item. Select the bundle we saved earlier and open it. Here we are at the same Open Bundle dialog we saw earlier. The Remove All Displays and Data option does exactly that. It removes displays and data you may have currently loaded. In this case, of course, there are currently no displays or data, so we are fine and we will leave that option checked. 
Try to add displays to current display. Again, we'll do exactly that. Load the data in the current display. We'll also leave that checked. Change data paths can be a very useful option when you need to change the reference of the data. Remember, bundles do not store data but references to data. These references can point to remote servers or files on the local file system. In the case where a bundle was created pointing to a local file, it may be necessary to obtain the data file from the data provider and correctly point to it with this option. For now, let's leave it unchecked. Now let's click OK to bring up our bundle and restore the state we saved earlier. Let's review what we have accomplished in this screencast. We have opened a bundle that is prepackaged with the IDV. We made some modifications to that bundle. We saved it on our local file system with a different name and we reopened our modified bundle. There is much more to bundles that we have not covered and will hopefully explain in a future screencast. For more information about the IDV or Unidata, please visit us at www.unidata.ucar.edu. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions about future screencast topics, please contact us at support-idv at unidata.ucar.edu.